What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going back to 67P, the comet that ESA visited with its orbiter and lander. And I think you're going to find this pretty interesting. Is that they're just looking for rock samples and maybe some water maybe on it, which it did find. It also found organic matter on the actual comet. Pretty interesting, right? But is that all they found? Let's just jump right into this, shall we? All right, you can see it right here, the Rosetta, which is the actual orbiter also carried a small lander called the filet and you can see it just dropping it right here in the smaller pitches uh really really cool now if, if my memory serves correctly the filet lander actually landed it was supposed to shoot a grappling hook basically into the surface of the comet but when it did it caused it somehow to ricochet off the comet surface and it caused it to actually go up in the air and then come back down land again i think it basically dropped again and bounced again into a crevice and that's where it laid and then I think they got like a signal back from it. But they said just for the short time that it was on the surface, it gathered a ton of information. And I believe that. Now, if you guys are not familiar with OSIRIS, OSIRIS is the actual camera, right? It's the optical, spectrocoptic, and infrared remote imaging system. Has a wide angle camera and a narrow angle camera that can obtain high resolution images of the comet's nucleus. Okay, now I'm going to show you the photos where you can get them. It's actually a pretty cool site. You can see it here. It's called Wallpaper Flare. What we're interested in this photo right here, and you can download it right here in this blue box. It's a 2560 by 1440 pixels. It's a really high resolution, pretty cool photo, but is it all natural? I'll tell you a couple things that caught my eye. Right in this circle right now, this magnified circle, where you can see this outer ridge, right? And then what looks like layers of rock. Now, is it possible that's natural? Absolutely. But that's not the only thing that caught my eye. What also caught my eye was this smooth area right here. Now, if you guys have watched my moon videos, you know a lot of these smooth areas could actually be absolutely natural or it's being covered up. So is it being covered up? It's an overwhelming yes. So let's jump right into this. And by the way, you're going to need your magnifiers because even right here, I'm going to put it right in the middle of this magnified circle, right where my little yellow cursor is, there appears to what looks like structures. We're going to get into this a lot more, so let's jump right into Photoshop and have a closer look. All right, here is the photo. We can jump right into this. Again, get out your magnifiers, have a look, and I'm just going to circle a few areas. You guys can have a look at here. This elongated piece here, I'm not sure what to make of that. you got to remember, this is all random rock here, guys, right? Now, it looks like a bunch of rocks until you have a closer look here. Kind of weird thing here. This whole thing here, too. If you look here, on the right-hand side, other pieces, right? Will look like pipes of some sort, elongated objects, whatever they may be, right? Over here. Again, another whited out, kind of centered out area, right? Something right here. Now, it is a really good photo, however... It appears it looks like they try to blur it up a little bit too. Like when you look at it from a distance, it looks pretty darn good. But as you get closer into it, it seems like eh, not as clear as it should be. But don't worry, we can still pull out what we need to pull out of this thing, right? We also have pieces you'll find over here. Now you folks know when I see anything that has to do with lines in anything, I go after it like a pit bull. So let's just jump right into this. Notice how this object here is half pretty clear. The rest of it, not so much. See right here? Almost no detail, but when you look at this thing right here, it continues on. This almost looks like rectangular in, in shape, but yet right here is where it divides clear to crap. See that? Let me just back out a little bit. See that? How it still continues into the blur. That's right, folks. This whole area has been completely manipulated, this whole area, including all around here and all over to here. Now, here's the other lines I want you to pay attention to. Again, lines are everything. Inside this weighted area, check this out. We have what looks like this overhang, okay? And you can see right here, almost looks like you can see a 90 degree angle of white piece. Very, very faint inside this blur, folks. Also, look at this blurring in here. It's even worse. It's like they already censored this pot, but then they went over this and blurred the heck out of it 
to make it even more difficult to bring out anything that may be lying here. You can see right between here, here, and here, this is actually a clear spot between these lines. Right there. Okay? But you can see where they actually went really to town on the blurring of this. Okay? Let me just back up just a hair bit. Look at it with your magnifiers, folks. Right here. It's not only censored right there, but they went over it with more blur as well, right? All right, so here's a couple interesting things before we go into full enhancement. You're also going to see some interesting things here. Really, really cool. This thing right here is interesting. Looks like it's doing this, and of course it's been half blocked, but you can see this thing going like this. You will see that. Whatever these things are, clearly there's something more on this comet than just simple natural processes, right? Let's go into this first. Now, again, you can see this piece doing this. Let's go ahead and fully enhance that. Now, notice these weird shapes in here. Is this piece even here? Absolutely. Look at it right there. Again, all I'm doing is bringing out the lines that are already there. Even though some of them don't make sense, doesn't mean anything. The point is the lines are there. Does it look like a natural process or does it look like something else? Look at the lines that are in here and these holes and stuff like that. Something right here. This weird piece here. Now, is this something built into this actual wall? It could very well be. All right. Let's enhance the whole thing and have a lot better look. First, what I did was I did a simple equalization on this, and this is what happened. I'm seeing shapes and everything else in here. I'm going, okay, wow, this is pretty cool. But that's not the best way to do it. You can see how like a lot of things get distorted. The blacks turn into like a gray, and it just turns really to mush. But you can see some lines in it. Let's just go right to the full enhancement. Now, let's have a closer look. Notice these lines in here now, and how these lines literally mesh up what's outside that whited area from this section here and actually go into these edge parts and you'll also see this down here where there's actually more structures now are these lines actually there like i was showing you earlier keep an eye on any line you see i'm going to go ahead and bring this up just a little bit so you guys can see this a little bit better concentrate on any line especially this piece down here. You can see that circle right there. This piece going up. Looks like it's got a dock line here. Goes down. Looks like it has a separation. has lines in here. Does this. Stops there. Now, see that? And you can see it going like this. See that? It's right there, hidden, but it's right there. Again, look at the density of the actual blurring. It's even more here. This is the reason why it was harder to pull this part out right here. But the lines are, in fact, there. Again, look at any one of these. Okay. Now, the other areas here. This whole thing has got some kind of structures or something in it. Look at the lower ones here in this area. Okay. This is the one I was talking about earlier. Again, look at the lines. They're right there. Just making them darker, bringing them out. Anything that's white is going to pop more than the background. The other rest of it is actually darker color. What you're seeing is the actual brighter parts of the actual structures, whatever it may be. You see where they went like this here. You can see where this line comes down a blur. So you can see part of this right here, and then it stops right there, and then goes into this blurry pot. You really can't make up much of it. It's got almost a full black circle right there. You can see that, and you can see the way this is designed here. That there doesn't look natural at all to me. Also, look at these other pieces here. Okay. This here. This piece right here. Now, are these lines here? 
Absolutely. I can see it right here. You can see this one right here. Again, this piece. And when you get into this more and more, you start to see more and more of these objects. There's something here. Notice how it has this piece right here does this. Goes like this. Appears to be something in there. And then we have some pieces on top. Again, are these lines here? Look at it carefully. Absolutely there. Just bringing the lines back out, folks. That's all we're doing to this. Like I said, you can center out a photo, but if you're not taking it completely out of the photo, it's going to be found. It's as simple as that. Again, I'm looking at the bottom here, and I'm saying, what is going on here, right? Got this, what looks like this weird long pipe, or is it some kind of transport tube? I'm not sure what to make of that, but it's weird how it's completely straight in an area that's supposed to be nothing more than just rocks. Random rocks, boulders, hillsides, ridges, whatever it may be. Whatever way you look at that thing, it doesn't look natural. Something down here. Not sure what that is. It's super bright. And again, this whatever this is here, the lines are actually there. But again, look how smooth that looks. And yet, you can see the lines in it. So we just bring the lines out. That's all we do. Do we know what these objects are? I don't. But I could tell the difference between what looks like natural and unnatural. You've got something way in the back here. Right there. Nothing's changed in that part of the photo. See it? It's still pretty much there. Now, I did, however, try to clear it up. That's why I get slightly clearer there. Look at that right there. Slightly clearer. And then we brought out this area here. I know right off the bat when I see this kind of area here with these weird-looking lines in here and the blurriness going on, I know for a fact there's something here more than just a natural process or a natural landscape. So clearly this is not natural. There's something more in here than meets the eye. And what's really wild, when I looked at this here, again, these pieces actually connect into the area that is not whited out. What could that possibly be? In my personal opinion, this is a huge structure. Or multiple structures all over, littered all over this comet. The 67P. Now, I've done some more in the past, like I said, but the thing is, they weren't this close up, and they didn't have this kind of detail in them. When you see that, it makes perfect sense. It's not like on this weird angle where the rest of it is not. You can see just the way that actually fits into the landscape really well. It is, in my opinion, absolutely there. And again, you can look at these pieces down here, here, and you can see these other pieces in here, they look like little square pieces, other pieces like we got 90 degree angles in here. We have these pieces here that are still under the blur. And we can still see the pieces there, especially this piece here. We can still see that. It's still there. I'm not putting anything in the photo. I'm simply I'm bringing out the lines that they simply tried to cover up. I believe this is a huge city complex. It could be an alien base, outpost, call it what you will. I really don't care what we call it. I call it unnatural. Use your magnifiers, folks. I'm going to glance over this one more time. Pause it here for the stock photo. Look at the objects, some of the objects I pointed out. Now we're going to go to the fully enhanced. Check it out. And again, I can go back and forth, look at any one of these lines. Fully enhanced from a distance right here. There you are, folks. Folks, when they said they were chasing this comet down, now this thing was actually orbiting our sun or slingshotting around it. I thought it was kind of odd that they would go after these comets out of nowhere. Now, my thing is, why chase a rock when there's how many random rocks everywhere you look? You can go to the asteroid belt. You can go to anywhere and find a different rock. Why that one? For what reason? 
when we do our live feed, I'm going to show you something interesting, too, that they also found on this comet. And I think it's kind of interesting because the way they describe it compared to the way it looks. Anyway, folks, I hope you like this. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think and what you see. And don't forget to share the video. It is appreciated. You guys know that. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got some more cool stuff coming up. And this is not the last 67P video we're going to do. Okay. We got more Mars coming up. We got more Moon coming up. So stay tuned for that. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell on the right hand side. And when the drop down box comes down, don't forget to tick the box that says all. This way you'll be notified of any new videos coming up. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace, everyone.